Okay, hopefully people come back in and I'm better this way. Oh, wait. For people to come in, I gotta look this brooch back up. Oh, somebody's here. I can't find it. I'm waiting for a couple more people. If you're here, you can say hello. I'm looking. Oh, here it is. Sorry, I already buffered out. Okay, I am. I am coming in much better. Okay. Okay, good. Maybe I'll stay on here now. All right. Anyway, I got like three shirts on today plus a sweater. All right. So anyway, I ordered some Sarah. Oh, thank you. Thank you for coming back, Adina. I can't remember how I said it. I don't like saying people's names. But thank you for coming back. I really appreciate you guys sticking with me. I know I have a lot of internet issues. So anyway, um, I won't ever use that tablet then to do this. Uh, so I really, I got this Sarah Coventry book. And it's from the year 2000. It has all the, it, I like how it lists it. It lists like the brooches, the necklaces, the earrings, but then it lists the sets, like the brooches that come with earrings in a set. And it gives you the value. Now, the value is probably off because, like I said, it's a 19-year-old book. I didn't buy it so much for the, to see how much they're worth. I just wanted to see the different um, pieces of jewelry that Sarah Coventry made. That way, when I'm out buying things, instead of, that I'll recognize it and be able to pull it out with, you know, before I have to, like, get the loop out and look at it. But anyway, I found two Sarah Coventry brooches on eBay, and they're this one. I'm going to try to get as close as I can. Can you guys see that daisy one? It comes with matching clip-on earrings, but you see the daisy brooch? Please say yes really quick because it is hurting my arms. Can you see the daisy brooch? See? Okay, I found somebody had two of them for sale on eBay, so they came today, so I want to share them with you. And my plan is to keep one because I love daisies and to sell one. Um, now, in the book, with the with the clip-on earrings, they say they're worth $45 to $66 a set. But like I said, this book is 19 years old, so... Um, and really... I don't know if you could get that much. I wouldn't think. Yeah, I wouldn't even try to get that close to that one over there. So let's see if they look as good as they did on eBay. I got trouble with these eBay packages. Okay, there it is. Now I'll tell you what I paid for them. Because they took a best offer. So I only paid, um, this is, these are two vintage Sarah Coventry brooches. They're saying they're from 1969. And I think that's about right. Um, they're called Light and Bright, which which they don't call them Light and Bright in here. They just call them Plastic Daisy Pin. Um, I only paid two bucks a piece for each one, so huh, I got them for four dollars and paid three fifty for shipping. So that's a really good price. Um, they package it really well. Looks like they got their own eBay store because they got all the eBay wrapping paper. But let's open them up and see if they're pretty. I've been daisies are my favorite flower, so. Hi, Marvel Hourglass. So I am definitely going to keep one of them because I've worn a daisy brooch. And then I'll sell one. Let's see if they're pretty. Yep, these are the ones that are ones in here because these are plastic. Oh, they're, they really are. They're really nice. Look at this. Hi, Deborah. Look at that. You're welcome, Amora Hourglass. Um, Deborah, you won the free thing. You you did tell me that you got the free. You got your package in the mail, right? Deborah. Isn't that nice? They're in excellent shape. I got two of them. See, they had two of them. And they're in excellent shape. So one of them is mine. And one of them I'm selling. And yep, they're Mark Sarah Country. And the, I was worried. Sorry, I buffered out. Um, let's see. Oh, you loved everything. Okay, good, Deborah. 
But I thought you had told me you loved I loved everything I sent you. Um, cause which one did you win? You won the second one, didn't you, Deborah? What did you win? Did you win the little like porcelain um, jewelry box, Deborah? Cause I had to give away two on that one. I can't remember. I have a bad memory. So, what did I, I gave away that, then I gave away just jewelry, I think. I just put a lot of jewelry together. Anyway, what I was worried about is this part of the daisy is just plastic, so a lot of times, oh, you won the little box. Okay, cool. With the earrings and stuff in it. It's usually broke, you know, chipped off. And these aren't. And they're gold tone. It's coming off silver tone, but it's gold tone. It's a real light gold tone. So awesome. You know what, what my problem is, though, Deb? I've got two notebooks going. I lose the notebooks. Seriously, I do. I got all kinds of sticky notes and notebooks around here, and then I misplace them. Because when I first moved down here, and I had... Um... So this is why I'm going to start doing all my stuff late night. Because if I do late night, there's not as many people on, and I don't buffer. Send you whose address? Who are you talking to, Deborah? I'm sorry, I buffered out. So that, that's all I can see right now is send me your address. I don't know who you're talking to. But anyway, um, what was I saying? Because it seems like I did better that one late night. I did that real late night auction. Oh, San Juana's here. Hi, San Juana. Um, I wouldn't have any place for any white whiteboards though, immortal, because I have um, my email. Are you talking about Deborah? Or are you talking about talking to somebody else? If you're talking about mine, my email is right below in the description after this. Um, immortal is Dia, right? But Dia, because I live in a travel trailer, so there's nowhere to put a whiteboard. Oh, me? I don't know. But uh, anyway, guys, I wanted to share with you, um, uh, my Avon representative set me a goal to sell $150 worth of Avon by tomorrow, and I already sold $150 worth of Avon. Oh, oh, yeah. Thanks to you guys going and ordering some stuff. I really appreciate it. And down below in my description, you'll find my Avon link. And um, I got to send out some books to people. But we're on campaign nine. We're starting campaign nine after tomorrow, but I've only got campaign 10 and 11. So what my what my Avon leader said, oh yeah, I could, good not idea. Hi, CD. Which I know your name's Kathy, but I just say CD. You know, Debbie, that's what I was gonna ask you. They don't have it, I don't think. You t you're the one that said that they had the nail strips, but I looked it up too. They don't have it, I guess. I haven't asked my recruiter lady, my mentor, but I did. She she challenged me to sell $150 because if I did, she sent me $50, a $50 gift thing full of products. So it's like, oh, uh -huh. so I emailed him like, I made my goal. I wanted to say, where's my $50 gift thing? But yeah, I did make my goal. I sold $150. Um, actually sold it within four days or something. Like I sold 150 bucks worth of stuff. But if you guys want, um, I have, I think we're on campaign nine. I have campaign 10, 11. I'll be more than willing to send out the books to you if you want, want some books. I know it's, I mean, I like shopping online to a, to a certain extent, but sometimes I just like having the books in my hand. Oh yeah, they have nail polish, Deb, because I found the nail polish online. And the nail polish is in the books. Thank you guys for saying congratulations. I know there's somebody who bought from me and I kind of recognize the name. I don't want to say the name out loud on my channel. And I'm pretty sure that she's a channel watcher, but I can't place, you know how you can't place somebody? I'll say the first name. Is there anybody out there, because we're all usually on the same channels, whose name is Cynthia? 
that we either watch or we she participates in the auctions. You guys know a Cynthia? Be sure too if you order some Avon stuff. If you order over um Well, I knew Jewelry Nurses was Cindy, but is her name Cynthia? It might have been her then that placed an order with me. If you spend over $40 on Avon, you get free shipping. If you don't, you can, you can use a coupon too, no matter how much you spend. Uh, welcome and 10 after it, the number 10, and you get 10% off. And then... Um, if you spend 50 and you use just the word welcome, you get 20% off. But, um, I mean, I don't want this to become the Avon channel, but I like, I like Avon jewelry. I like Avon. I've always liked Avon jewelry. Because when you're a kid and you get Avon jewelry, you feel like you're fancy. I mean, am I the only one? Well, I'm on here talking and I'm keeping Dia company because she's sorting her jewelry. I already sorted my jewelry. Would you like to see a preview of some necklaces I have? Because you know me, I don't like necklaces. And I've got a, I just, hey, Kathy, see these, did you get the, did you get your, um, all the stuff I mailed you? Have you got your package yet with all those necklaces you ordered? I mean, I like Avon, I like Avon, I like, I wear Avon eyeliner. It's the only eyeliner that I love to wear. Okay. Did you like everything? I mean, was everything okay? Ah, I just dropped my water. Oh, cool. I'll watch it then. But do you guys want to see some more? You remember that five pounds, those three videos I did on the five pounds of jewelry? Oh, cool. I'm glad you liked them. Okay, I'll go get the necklaces. Just hold on a minute. They're right over here. I got to move, move my exercise machine out of the way. It's like a little peddler or I'll fall over it. I do like my new internet. You know what's great about my new internet, guys? If you want, you'll be seeing more videos from me. You'll get to see my mug more. Because I where it where, it took me to upload a 12 minute video like six hours before it takes like 15 minutes now i was like what i mean and before i had to this is what i had to go through this is what i went through for you guys i would i would film a video put it through windows movie maker edit it save it put it through another program um called handbrake shrink it down to size then upload it so all in all it took me about seven hours seven to ten hours to get a video uploaded that was at the max 15 minutes long oh cool i'll have to look deborah and so now i do a video that's why you got two videos the other night because it was like boom boom they were uploaded so yeah it's got great upload speed let me go get the necklaces and i don't have and i don't have to put the videos through those, I don't have to put the videos through those um, programs. I just, I use my old phone, I video it, and then I, you know, put the cord and attach it to the, uh, here's Gertrude. I put the cord and attach it to it and download, you know, transfer it over to the laptop and upload it. I don't have to shrink it or nothing. Okay, let's look at some necklaces. that pretty that's just plastic silver tone chain really light pink plastic in there and i'm the girl who i just i don't like selling necklaces they just i don't know just do you guys like that is there any like piece of jewelry you just don't like to deal with I mean, I just don't like to deal with necklaces. This is a really interesting one. Several strands. If you like pink. They're kind of a cheaper kind of pink beads. These always drive me nuts because you can't ever get them straight. Oh, earrings. Yeah, Dia. Earrings. See, I I'm like this with necklaces. I got... Oh, bye, San Juana. Thanks for joining us. You can watch the rest of it later if you want to the, the this is a nice necklace and it's silver tone i know a lot of people are looking for silver tone stuff it's got a lost lobster clasp 
It's uh, three, four, five strands of pink beads. The only earrings that really dry, that's why with my earrings, Dia, what I do is I put them in like one of those six by whatever jewelry bags you can get from Walmart, and I sell them like that. Now, I wanted to show you this one. This one's got a, like, gold-filled clasp on it. And the beads are not plastic. They feel wooden almost, but they might be plastic. I don't know. But isn't that interesting? I'll hold it closer. I already sold some of these necklaces. Some of you ladies got a hold of me and... And um, they're packaged up, ready to go. This has like a heart-shaped clasp on it. I know it says gold filled on it. Let's see, what else do I have? I really like this necklace. I don't wear necklaces, but I'm too claustrophobic for a necklace. That's what I do, Dia. That's what I do. I put them um, in those you know, those plastic bags, you know, that you can get in the craft section at Walmart. And then I sell them for like, well, I auction them and people buy them or just put a certain amount on them and sell them like that. Put all pierced in one and put all whatever in another. I, I, I tell you what, these, I'm, I am convinced when you go to sleep at night, these, um, that song starts playing, you know, let's get it on. And these things start doing their thing at night. Because they're all tangled up in the in the in there. Can you hear that? You hear that song? Let's get it on. And the earring and the and the necklaces just start going at it. But I'm gonna hold this one up because. Well, I put all I put all my necklaces in here nice and neat. I make sure they're not tangled. I lay them straight, and every time I get in here, they're like. They've done their business. Okay. These I, I aren't glass beads, but I like it because how it attaches. See that medallion in there? That's where the clasp is. It goes in there. I showed you this on my video. And I just, these just feel like really nice quality beads to me um they kind of when i when i hear them they kind of sound glass but they're not glass but this is really nice i like a really nice necklace cd the cd the only um necklaces that i did not include in your lot that was actually in the box that you bought because you told me not to remember when i bought these from barbie they might be glass Remember when I bought these from Barbie, CD, and you said, if I buy anything from it, don't put it in my lot. So I did not put it in your lot. But it's like a domino, and on one side it's got a frog. And these are glass beads because they're ice cold. But somebody was asking me for artisan-type necklaces. This is definitely an artisan-type necklace. Yeah, so I, I listened to it and I took it out of the box because I remember you saying, do not put that in my it was anything I buy from you. Yeah, but I had to buy them because they were so ugly. They, they just had to be bought. You ever just do that? It's so ugly, I, I want it. And somebody was asking me the other day on one of my things, do you have any artisan pieces? Well, these are artisan pieces. Hi, Marianne. Somebody might have been smoking some wacky tobacco when they did it, but they made it. Somebody might like that. And then this one. But these would be good beads. I mean, somebody took these because these are glass beads. Oh, I kept telling you guys that I found Monet glass beads. And these... These I looked up go or, or sell well they're listed for like 20, 20 some odd dollars. Look at these. These are Monet vintage glass blue um a beaded necklace, glass beaded necklace. I don't know if you 
They're knotted in between. And each individual one is knotted. They have the hang, they have a, they have um, the old style. Isn't that the older style lobster clasp? And then a hang tag is blue. And that is, is um, vintage because I looked them up. I'll show them to you. They don't quite pick up on, on Gertrude. They don't. Gertrude is, so you don't, but, but aren't those nice? Like I said, they're knotted in between. They are glass. Monet. I think I will put those in auction, but I would have to. Hi, Barbie. Uh oh, a bunch of a bunch of a bunch of stuff is coming up now. All my chat is like going really fast. Why is my chat doing that? Stop it with the chat. I'm cutting out. You're cutting out on some words. Oh, I'm sorry. These, these are Monet. These are those Monet ones I mentioned. They're Monet, they're glass, they're a navy blue. And if you if you can see, they're knotted in between. Each bead is knotted. And then um, it's got a lobster clasp on, but isn't that an older lobster clasp? Yeah, I think they did because the, these, like I said, I've looked them up. They're vintage and people are selling them for anywhere $25 to $35. I will put these in one of my auctions. Um, oh, cool, Barbara. Yeah, I'll be there tomorrow. We'll all be there probably. Um, I will put these in one of my auctions. My next auction, I don't know when I'm going to have one. Um, but they're probably going to start out like at 10 bucks Because they are they are listed pretty expensively. Now, I, don't, I say this, but I'm not sure if anybody likes these kind of necklaces. I don't like it when they come on cords like this. But I thought, well, I'm not going to pitch it, and I'm not going to put it in a craft lot because somebody might like it. Does any does people, you guys like stuff like that? Anybody like that? Like where it's on cords and then it's got some metal. And it's got an extender on the back. Because I thought this, this looked a little better made than the normally what I see, what I see with on cords. And it's got the extender on it. Does anybody like that kind of stuff? Yeah, I don't like cords either, but this one looks better made. Oh yeah, I haven't stuck this to a magnet, so I don't know if it's silver or not. And then let's see what other I got. You guys saw most of these necklaces if you watched my three-part video. I just thought this was interesting because it was like chain you put on your bicycle, but in a necklace. And it's gunmetal gray. Isn't that interesting? I thought it was. And it's in perfect shape. I had to have too big of a neck to even try to pull that one off. And um, I feel like they were choking me. Oh, really? Hello, Barbie. Oh, you can't take the cameo off of it? I was looking last night at some cameo jewelry, trying to buy some, because I know you guys like cameo jewelry. Because um, I haven't been anywhere with jewelry jars to buy. Well, I was at one place, but they, it was all junk, and they wanted... Um... Yeah, that's how I'd look, too, CD. I still got this one, guys, but the the one that you can twist and do whatever you want to with. Oh, yeah, the young and the skinny probably like that. I was young at one time, but I don't think I was ever skinny. It would look kind of nice. I think it would look nice. Maybe if I put an extender on it, I could do, do it. For some reason, I like it. Shoot. Okay, I'm going to try this. If I go into panic attack mode, you guys are going to... You tell me if I look good in this. I would need a strong neck. If I go into panic attack mode, you guys are going to have to come help me. I'm in Missouri. See? There's no way. I look silly. I look like I got a dog collar on. Look at that. Nope. It just...
Okay, let's see. It's really not heavy. I'm actually not going into claustrophobia mode, which is amazing. But all it does to me is go, look at me, I have more than one chin. Yeah, I think it would, like I'm here, right here. Because I always try to wear V-neck shirts. But right now, this sucker needs to come off. I'm in Missouri, somebody needs to come help me. Seriously? I can't find where I did it, redid it. We're breaking this sucker off. Where did I attach it at? It's like when you get a bracelet on. Uh... Yeah, like down here. Yeah, that would be nice. Okay, who's closest to Missouri? Get over here. Get me out of this. Barbie, you're in Tennessee, but you're in eastern Tennessee. Where's Cece? She's in Arkansas. I can't find the clasp. That's easier said than done, Cece. My fat neck won't let her around. Well, I am kind of looking in a mirror because I'm looking in the camera. With that accent, Barbara, you ain't from no New York. I got it off, though, guys. I must have, uh, I must have took the right combination of pills today. I didn't have a panic attack. The blue pills work today. Yay. Magic. I think this is a pretty necklace. It's gold tone, but it's on a longer chain. I just like that. I like that pin knit. I try to stay lighthearted because if you don't, life's too hard not to stay. But I can get in some moods. You can ask my mom. She has to put up with me. I can get in some moods where I'm just like, ooh. She just tells me too. This is pretty if you like gold tone and and pearls. It's got a little cluster of pearls on it and gold tone. I think it's kind of pretty. Oh, I'm not helping you, Dia. Sorry, I can't feel my feet. The other yesterday, I went to put my socks on. No, it wasn't yesterday. It was it was Saturday. I went to put my socks on. I lifted up my foot and I had a piece of like you know, the peppermint candy, but you know, it's green striped candy, like starlight candy in the wrapper stuck to the bottom of my foot that I was walking around on. And I didn't know. So those seed beads would be lost in my feet. I think that's really pretty. Don't you? I, I, I lifted up my foot. I'm like, how long was I walking on the candy and didn't know it? And my mom was like, well, didn't you, weren't you off balance? And I'm like, I walk with my hips. So, so no, I wasn't off balance. I'll show you what I had stuck to the bottom of my foot. One of these. I had one of these stuck to the bottom of my foot. Up by my toe, underneath my toe. I didn't know it. This is sugar-free, by the way. I'm going to have one. Look, Barbie, I share with you. It's sugar-free. You like the green ones? They don't taste as good as the sugar ones, but they're okay. I do. I do wear slippers, Deb. And and every once in a while, I won't. Like, when I'm in between because I live in a travel trailer, I used to go back and forth, and I end up stepping on something. Oh, nothing beats the time I picked up my foot and I had uh, beads embedded in it. Big beads. Got this. Nobody ever wanted
Okay, you guys want to see some bracelets? I'm overloaded on bracelets. And bracelets are another thing to me. I like bracelets, but they're hard for me to photograph. Would you like to see some bracelets? Legos wouldn't hurt me. i just fall down on them. I didn't feel it. I wanted to clip it and it was loose. I'm like, whoop. I might have silver tone. I'll go get it. I've been on the lookout, Deb, for silver tone jewelry. I have one really pretty silver tone necklace, Deb, you probably like. You want me to show it to you? It's in my briefcase box. I forgot about this. Here, look at this, Deb. Where you at? Have I ever seen what? Is that the name of the brooch? A G-I-U-S-T-I-E? No? Oh, George, I'm the flashing girl. I live in a rural area, so my internet flashes, and I think it's the phone. I have a cheap phone. No, I've never heard of that one, Barbie. But I do have a book, Barbie. Wait, hold on a second, Barbie. I'll look it up for you. I have a book. And I was looking at it the other night, and I realized how wonderful it was. I got this book at a, bo a used bookstore. It's costume jewelry. And in alphabetical order, it lists the different jewelry companies and gives you their history. Spell that again, Barbie, and I'll look it up. See what's in here. Did you say it started with G? I'm not on a laptop, Barbie. I'm on um I'm on my phone and there's no settings to adjust on my phone. G I U. Let's see who's in here. Not guaranteeing it to be in here, but it might be. No, it's not in here, sorry. But if you ever come across this book, it's an older book. Mm. I say older, it's 98. It's called Costume Jewelry. It's a practical handbook and value guide by Fred Rosanzadi. And what it does is in alphabetical order, it goes through the different companies. I know. I can't figure out that. My my silly um on my laptop my um my camera won't work. Like I go through Hangouts and the camera will work. I go through the camera setting it works, but it will not work with YouTube. It will not film through YouTube. Okay, Deb, are you ready? I got a I got a necklace for you, and it's Saint Thomas. Uh, my carrier is um. AT&T, it's, it's, um, it's a pay-as-you-go, uh, what do you call it? Straight talk. You know, I, and I've looked on there, and I, it's, I don't know. I, I've tried to figure it out so many times. Barbie's next auction is tomorrow night at 7.30 Eastern? Is that right? 6.30 Eastern. 6.30 Eastern because 5.30 my time. Okay, here we go. Here's Deb. That's for Deb. What do you think? But the internet that I'm going off of isn't off of my cell phone plan. The internet I'm going off of is off of the, my mom's cell phone, which is not cell phone, but my mom's internet, which is um, HughesNet. We just got HughesNet. closer and it's longer I'm kind of holding it up it goes down longer see and it's got a hang tag and it's St. Thomas all right thanks Barbie because I've I've watched YouTube videos on it I've watched um I've went in and and check to make sure I didn't delete a program I shouldn't. I've redone things. And I'm thinking, okay, 
when I go to my camera icon, um, just in, I have Windows 8, just in like Windows 8. Um, but you'll have to probably be in, I'll put this in the next auction. Um, I, uh, I'll hold it up while I'm talking. When I go in there, it works and it will videotape me and everything. It will take pictures. Pictures. When I go through Hangouts, it will take pictures. And I have some program on there with like an eyeball and it will take pictures. Yeah, I do. Yeah, I did that, Barbie. And I am on webcam. And what it does, it like recognize, it, it will like take a picture. And you can tell my camera on my laptop's not coming on and it's black. And then I try to connect to live and it won't do it. And you know, you can't get a hold of nobody at YouTube because they're Google and. I'm not going to talk to us peons out here. Does anybody like paparazzi, George? Or I'm just saving this for nothing. Click YouTube Live, but choose webcam. Yeah, I do. I have. I've chose the way. I do. I choose webcam, not live, live, live stream. And it will even act like it's it's act like it's connected. And um, I bought a webcam before Deb and I returned it because it didn't work good. I was thinking anyway, if I was going to use my laptop, my laptop don't film in good resolution anyway. Oh, did they? Yeah, I noticed that because I wasn't trying to do it. I was trying to figure it out last week. Um, you know, the American girls collection, you know, those dolls that they put with those um, books about like pioneer girls. I have like a little charm bracelet from American girl collection. I don't think anybody be interested if you got a granddaughter. I need to know, too, guys, what you guys want to see in my next auction. Are you guys interested in... I got a lot of men's cufflinks. You never, you never really see men's jewelry in other people's auctions. That might just be because they don't find it. What was my original attention? I was trying to get bracelets out, wasn't I? You got these kind of chokers. Those wouldn't be too bad. Look at that. They might like the, look, no. no. And then this, I didn't quite understand what it was. It's just on a cord. I think maybe you just hang it over your neck like this. And you wear it. Is that what's called an open necklace? Just hang your neck like, like that. remember who has grandkids and stuff and that way when I send free gifts out I can send like stuff for your let's get the girls uh, started young oh okay I will I'm still using Windows 8 I never I, I hate Windows 10 I rule the day when I have to go to Windows 10 okay you guys ready to see some bracelets now, on my video, I made a mistake. This bracelet, I said this was glass because it's real heavy, but it's not plastic. But isn't this neat? It's a little stretchy, but look at all that chunkiness on there and rhinestone. That is like fashion statement. I can't. So look at this. You can get it on. I've got a big wrist and it doesn't stretch out. Isn't that neat? I got a seed bead one. I like these cuff seed beads, and this is an orange. Got another orange one, the coil ones. These are always good for us big girls who have not so much big wrists, but big hands that they won't go across. I'm convinced my wrists are not that big. It's my hands. I've worn a size nine ring since I was a kid. Look at me, I can't even know how to put a coil bracelet on. But it's a coil and it's gold and orange. And it's got the gold tips on the end. So it's really nice. This one's a stretchy one. I thought you might like this one, Barbie, because it's the faux pearls. But I didn't know if you'd like that bling on there. It's stretchy. You like this one, the the, the orange one, CD? It's really nice. Or do you like this one? I'm holding up. 
Thought you might like this, Barbie. But I didn't know if you'd like that much um, sparkle on there. But these are faux pearls, and they're not. They're stre It's a stretchy bracelet, but it's not stretched out at all, and it's double stranded faux pearls. I um, mean, this one. You like the, the orange one? This one has a lobster clasp on it, and look at all. I just think it's neat because it's gold chain and it's woven with all these beads hanging off of it in gold tone. Yeah, I thought that that too. I wish they wouldn't have put that on there because I liked just the pearl parts, and I really don't like pearls. And then they've got like purplish beads on there, and um, a cream color, so it's really dangly. It's really it's really pretty. Um, this is a lobster class kind of delicate with these beads on there. Yeah, this one. I don't know if it would be or not. Oh, this, this has got a little hang tag on. I didn't notice. Well, don't say anything on it. I don't know. Let me see how. Let me see if it would fit me because mine are pretty. I don't know, Barbie. It's got an extender on it. The ch This chunky one, it's got an extender on it. See? So... No. No, it doesn't even fit me with the extender. And then um, somebody help me out with this one. Is this a choker? I've got it in my bracelets, but I assume it's a choker necklace. And I usually don't say save Claire necklaces. But this is a Claire with an extender because I just thought it was pretty. This is a roll on one that is black beads and then these black beads are open. Yeah, I, I don't know why I put that in bracelets. Yeah, I was really surprised nobody wanted this one, the cuff bracelet that has the cuff. Um, uh, ring. She wore one, oh, like this. And this is a beautiful, um, these are glass beads. They're really cold, and this is a stretchy bracelet. It has not lost its stretch. It's in earth tones. This is a rose uh, roll-on one, but it's got all these charms on it. It's got a flower charm that's metal, and then these look like charms off of it. It's kind of unique. And then if you remember, these came. I've never seen these. I don't know if you guys ever. I think San Juana said she had one like this. And it's like, this is like a leather, I guess. I don't know if it's real leather, but these are magnetic. And then these rings are on here that have glass beads around them. And then there's one in that color and one in this color with, with the things on. I have some unique things. And then I found this one. And I don't know if this is more of a kid, probably for a kid. It says um, sweet on it. And it's got like, they slide. The letters slide. It says sweet. And it snaps. Oh, it's actually... Oh, it's sign. What is it sign? I don't know what it's sign. BC. Oh, that's BCB generation. So that's like for kids, yeah, younger people, right? And then I found this enamel bracelet. This um, it's enamel, and uh, what I like about it is it's filigree. You can see that it's like cut. And it's a clamper style bracelet. And I don't know how to do this to show it. See, it's enamel. And it's real, it's not marked, it's a clamper style. I think it would fit me. Yeah, fits me. Isn't that pretty? Oh, 
Have you guys ever seen this? I thought this was illegal to do. Is it not illegal to take, like, coins and make jewelry out of them? Because look at this bracelet. Is that one silver tone? No, this is gold tone, hun. Look at this bracelet. It's made out of real pennies. They've drilled holes on the side of the pennies and connected them together. And they put a clasp on it like this. But I thought you couldn't destroy money like that. Yeah, that's. I thought it was illegal too to destroy money. Because you're destroying U.S. currency. And they're real pennies. They're not. I looked at them like 1988. And. Uh, oh, I thought, well, it's at least worth three, six, eight cents because there's eight cents on it. So I thought this one I'd just keep for myself. I'm not selling something illegal. My grandpa used to take um, nickels and he could pound them and make them into rings. And then I was going to show you guys this one. It reminds you. Um, oh, really? They don't have pennies anymore? It reminds you of a Pandora bracelet, but it was, it was so weird when you. Okay. This is shaped like a tulip to me. The part that you. I, I, I almost don't want to undo this because when I did, it, it just. Stuff happens. You take it off like that, and that comes off, and then all these th all these charms come off. And it's silver tone, Deb. This is silver tone one, and it's got all the charms on it. And it kind of reminds you of Pandora, but it's not Pandora. It's Pandora's are marked, right? Well, that's interesting. They're real heavy. Anybody like Pandora style? Here you go, Deb. Uh, I do believe that's an anklet, though. That's a silver tone anklet and a silver tone chain bracelet. I got this bangle with a bow on it, Deb, and it's silver tone. Oh, now I'm pulling out a silver tone. This is an interesting silver tone one. It's got an enamel piece right there. This is kind of mesh. Then you, you pull the flap over there, but it's also magnetic. See? It's really heavy, too. I thought this was pretty. You guys would have saw this in my last one. Isn't that pretty? If it's coming off right. It's pink and gold tone. And it, it's a clamper. It's kind of small though. Really pretty. So I think in my next auction will be a lot of bracelets and necklaces. I'm trying to build up my brooch, brooches back up. But anybody looking for anything specific? Because I've been searching to buy some more jewelry online. But I'd like to know what you guys are looking for. Or um, are in the, you know. Because I'm buying to resell. So I need to know what you guys are looking for. Like are you looking for brooches that are themed? Like, you know, certain theme brooches. Are you looking for... Necklaces that are certain things. So, what are you guys looking for? Because I'm sure somebody is going to want these little horsey brooches I showed on my... On my brooches video. Baby horse has a tail. Mommy don't. They've got a lot of wear on them, but they're cute. Well, I've been trying to go back through Shop Goodwill and get those dollar boxes like I showed you guys how. And now all their dollar boxes that they're offering are Mardi Gras beans. 
There's three dollar boxes on there, and they're Mar you can just tell they're Mardi Gras beads. I don't want Mardi Gras beads. So, don't I have the cutest? Um, don't I have the cutest? Oh, I need to the cutest thing to hold my pens and pencils in. It's a little camper. Isn't it the cutest? I didn't even realize that's the side that has the door on it. I should have that one facing out. I just realized that. Alright, I'm looking for a nail flower. Isn't that the cutest? Since I live in a camper. RV. Travel trailer. Tiny house. Whatever you want to call it. It's enough. Sorry, I'm following my nail. It's enough for me. Hi, Edward. What time is it where you're at? Where are you at again, Edward? Are you in Ireland? Or are you in England? Where are you at, Edward? Ireland or England? Ireland, I thought so. Go look up my family. Uh, um, Edward, it'll be real easy. Their last name was Stuart. <laughs> Just joking. No, seriously, their last name was Stuart. We know we have Irish in us and Scottish. And then my last name's Watson, so I am Scot uh, Scottish and Irish. Maybe that's where I got the pale skin from. But I always want to take my mom over to Ireland because uh, originally our name was spelled. I think when we came in, when our ancestors came to this country, it was changed to the S T E W. And it used to be spelled the other way. Was she Miriam? Yeah. yeah, that's how my, my my mom was. That's her maiden name. But my my name's Watson. On my dad's side, which is Scottish. Like elementary, my dear Watson. And you know my twenty dollar thrift or th th thrift and then flip challenge. I have sold two things and I basically lost money on both of them. So I'm not doing too hot on my own challenge. But hey, you live, you learn. So most of them was because the one I sold yesterday was because I didn't notice until I got home I had chip on it and I didn't feel right charging that much for it. Well, what I did on the first one, I sold the sake cups and I sold them with free shipping underestimating what it would cost to ship them and only made like a dollar something off of them. Watson is the North Northern Ireland name? Oh, cool. I always thought, if you look it up, they say it's Scottish. Um... Mine's spelled with one one T. Um, and then on the other one was a an Oratagi Japan coffee mug. I sold it for four ninety nine for with free shipping. And when I got it all packaged up, once again it weighed more. But it was actually a free cup because I got it free by for buying the other two. So um, I actually lost money on that, but. I didn't make money on a ring I sold though. I'll have to write. I have to write it all down and and because I sold a ring on one of my auctions. I sold them rings on the uh, auction, which I did write that down. So that's good. And I know where the notebook is. It's in there. So I don't know when I'll be doing another auction. But it was my own fault. I should have really when you when you. I like to give free shipping, but when you give free shipping, what you have to do is build the shipping into the price you're selling it for. So either way, but people feel like they're getting a bargain when they get free shipping, but they're paying for the shipping in the price if you do it right. And I should have, what I what you should do, and I know this, I've sold enough things and sold long enough time. I should have took out the cup, put it in a box like I was going to mail it, got the weight and then priced it and I didn't and that's but that's why I'm doing this challenge to show you guys when I make the video where I when I get about five things sold I'll make a video um to show you what mistakes I made and what mistakes you guys can avoid it's it's I'm still learning so I mean I haven't sold for very long so 
I knew I'd make mistakes, and that's good, because I sold one thing I sold on Etsy, and the, the cup I sold last night on, on eBay, and then the rings I sold to you guys on auction, so that way I can give you a, a varying degree of what to do on different platforms and how to do it. And that we all make mistakes. Isn't that life? We all make mistakes? I always hear people say they don't have regrets, and I'm like, uh, I do. I have regrets. I think if you don't have regrets, then you haven't learned from your mistakes, have you? That's my my way of feeling about it. I did get a cookbook today. Anybody like cookbooks? Because I didn't, I don't really like this cookbook. It is this cookbook. It is a 1966 Woman's Day Encyclopedia of Cooking, Volume 1. You're welcome. Thanks for coming by. Yeah, because I'm real. I'm a real, real person. This is a 1966 cookbook. I only paid a dollar for it. But I knew that I knew in my mind it was an Encyclopedia of Cooking, and I should have thought, look on the side to see what letters it's going through, and it's going through A through BEA. So most of the stuff they're cooking there, I'm like, Bleh, I don't want it. I don't want to use it. Did I sell what? Did I sell the cookbook? Is that what you're asking, Deb? I just bought the cookbook today. I'd be happy to sell it. I don't like it. It's 1966. No, I, I didn't. But I thought about it. I know Barbie gives away cookbooks. Do you guys like the giveaway on cookbooks? Because I could give us away in one of my auctions. But what I have to give away is like other stuff. It like covers all these things that start with A through B through B E A. Yeah, I could list it on Etsy. That's what I might do. It would be easy to list. It does have Austrian cooking in there. I used to cook so much more when I was uh, married. I cooked him three meals a day, so. While he was taking it to work and never mind. Let's not go there. Let's let's not go there. Tutti. Let's not talk about him. Tutti. I spit his name out of my mouth. My headache's actually gone away now. I took I took two a leave though. The big liquid gel ones. I probably wasn't supposed to take two. But I thought about doing a cooking video uh, because I keep watching these people doing cooking videos and what they cook looks, I'm sorry, on YouTube looks like slop. Some of them, no, not some of them look good. And I thought about setting up my camera over there and doing a cooking video, like making a chicken dye van. Mm, chicken dye van, so good. And different things. Would you guys watch a cooking video if I did it? My channel's going to be about jewelry and cooking and Avon and saving money and... That and I make, oh, spaghetti carbonaro. I can't eat it very much because it raises my blood sugar, but mm, that's good too. You would? You'd watch, you'd watch? watch it? Okay. I'd probably make a cook. I'd have to set up my camera over there. And um, you see me cooking in my tiny house. I really like uh, chicken diamond is really good to make and spaghetti carbonaro I make. I used to make homemade bread in my, I don't have a bread machine anymore. Homemade bread. I used to make homemade cinnamon rolls. Oh, I can make you guys some homemade cinnamon rolls. Like I'm sharing them with you. Homemade cinnamon roll. You, home, homemade cinnamon rolls. We do the, I don't know, taco meatloafs, but we do the individual meatloafs like in the muffin pans. You ever do your meatloafs in the muffin pans? Is that what you're talking about, Mary? You want a house tour? It's not much of a house. It's just an RV. I did when I moved in here. You know how RV, like, you can tell that I'm sitting at the dinette part of it. I took out that dinette part of it and didn't know I had a torn rotator cuff and took that stuff out. Oh, you do small loaves? Well, how we make our small loaves, Mary, is we use a muffin pan, like for muffins, and make your make your individual loaves in there, and then you can seal it, and then you can put them and freeze them. They're really good that way. What do you guys put on top of your meatloaf? Ketchup? Tomato sauce? Or tomato soup. I find tomato soup is the best. 
I got lots of recipes I cook. I get I make homemade chicken dumplings. Oh, you have videos of yourself cooking? Deborah, you got a channel, right? You said you did a video, right? You do you got a chamber a channel, Deborah? Ooh, that sounds good. I think I'm, I'm, I'm on your channel. I have to be. Um, you you end up getting subscribed to so many, you miss people's videos. And then YouTube is always sending me recommendations, and I'm thinking, just recommend what's on my subscribers thing, so I remember to watch them. Let's see what else I could make. I always made homemade. I always used to make my own spaghetti sauce. I made my own. Do I have full-size appliances? No, I have full-size microwave. Um, no. You have a small oven and you have a three-burner gas stove in most RVs. And um, I have a toaster oven I use. I've never used my oven in my RV. I use a toaster oven instead because I've heard a lot of things about toaster oven, about RV ovens. They cook on e evenly and you used to have to use one of those stone things in there to get the heat to distribute and all that. I'm trying to think. I used to cook all kinds of different meals. Ooh, corned beef and cabbage. Yum. Now we're all talking about food and I'm getting hungry. You know what? I watched Barbie's um, last two weeks and they were t you guys were talking about eating um, deli subs. And I had to go buy me stuff to make deli subs today and that's what I had. And that's probably what I'll have for dinner again. You know what I did? I didn't buy the rolls. I just bought it's cheaper just to buy a loaf of French bread out of your bakery for like a dollar ninety nine and cut it off. And I had a veggie veggie sub. You get thought, why go to Subway? Oh, I haven't been to Subway. I don't go to Subway. Uh, and I made my own veggie sub. That was good. I don't know how did I get off on this subject? Oh, cookbook. I need to get my hair cut, but I'm too I'm too frugal to go get it cut. I tell you what I haven't been finding a lot lately, lately in jewelry is rings. I don't have a lot of rings. I've never made empanadas. I'm planning on letting it grow. It's getting pretty long. The only problem is with my hair growing is it's thin right here. I have thinning hair on here. And it's blame my father's side of the family. And as it gets longer, my hair's thin. And my hair's fine anyway. This seems thinner. But I don't want to grow because I'm not going to go pay $30 for a haircut. I'd rather spend $30 on jewelry. I searched and searched last night for jewelry. I found some rings on Avon last, on Avon last night, on eBay last night, but the pictures of them weren't very, weren't good enough, so I couldn't tell. And I don't like when on, when on eBay you look at a, oh cool, do that, Deborah. When you make oh, i know what i uh, when you when you see you know those cushion things that with the with the lines that the ear that the rings go down in they had them and they photographed them like that while well, you can't see the band of the ring and i don't trust that they're not going to be worn off i tell you what i used to make my husband that was homemade was um calzones i used to make i used to roll the dough and make homemade calzones uh-huh 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 he got up. I cooked him. Did I cooked him something? He wanted to work with a full cooked meal. And when he came home at night after eleven, he got food cooked for him. I even made my I could make my own homemade egg noodles, and I put them up. You know, they they'd be hanging around. They literally be hanging around the kitchen drying. You know, on the on the hanging rack. So I was really into cooking. I really like cooking. But when you're cooking for one person, it's just, it's not as much, it's not as much fun. Too bad I can't cook for you guys and like ship it out to you and you can eat it. Let's we'll see if I cook for me and I film it and I'm like, I'm stuck with all this food. I gotta call my physical therapist tomorrow to see if I'm gonna show up for physical therapist, physical therapy Wednesday because... 
my doctor will not release me for two more months to strengthen my rotator cuff. I know, right, Edward? And seriously, all the same time he was going to work, taking the food to work, and cheating on me with a woman at work. Do you see why I never want to get married again? Pretty necklace. Nope, not nice at all. I had never, I have never actually seen a Pandora except for watching people's videos when those, I think one, I don't remember who it is. Some lady has um, a channel and she always shows her Pandora stuff. It's a, uh, except for seeing them on commercials and on YouTube. I've never seen a Pandora bracelet. All right, Debs. Um, go take two of leave. That's what I did. My headache finally went away. But I'm going to go to, thanks guys for hanging out with me for over an hour. We've been talking for over an hour. Barbie, did you and Ken get everything wrapped up while you were listening to me? Because I always get my stuff done when I'm listening to you. Okay. Well, I can't talk anymore. My voice. You have to talk to yourself, Barbie. Soothe yourself into finishing your work. Oh, I wish you guys are so, you're so, uh, I don't want to say lucky because I don't like the word lucky, but you're, it's, it's, I, we don't have a state sales writer. I've never been to a state sale. We don't even have them in, in like, I mean, I mean like in a radius around us. When I put it into the computer to find some, the closest ones are in St. Louis. And St. Louis is like an hour and a half away. But me and my brother talked about taking a Sunday and going to some estate sales in St. Louis. We don't have estate sales around here. I'm ready, I'm ready for the yard sale season to kick in. So I can go to yard sales. But I have never, ever, ever been to an estate sale. All right. Well, I'll let you guys go. Please leave me a thumbs up. And I will talk to you guys later. Barbie, I'll see you guys tomorrow. Oh, I love church sales. Church sales is where I find so much jewelry. You haven't ever been to an estate sale either, Edward? Do they have estate sales? Over they have boot sales over there, right? Car boot sales. Usually when the, usually, okay, the Catholic church in our town has a yard, has an inside sale twice a year. They have it during the summer and they have it in the fall. And then the Lutheran church, I think it's Lutheran. It's the Lutheran or the Methodist. I think it's Lutheran. They'll have an inside one. And there I always find really good brooches and jewelry. I know you guys have boot sales. They were like, you said, yes. Do you guys have, what we call like yard sales and garage sales too? Or do you just do the boot sales? Oh, okay. You don't, okay. I wish I could find some estate sales and I wish I could find some outside flea markets like in the summertime. What's so cute? See, I think that would be awesome to have a boot sale and you just pack your car up and go and, yeah. But see, I live outside of a town. The town don't even have 5,000 people in it. Oh, you did? You sold everything? That's cool.
Do you know what kind of upset me? I went and looked. I keep forgetting about Facebook Marketplace. And after I bought Gertrude here that cost me $13 off Amazon, I went to, um, hi, Twice is Nice, Sandy. Um, I had, I went to the Marketplace on Facebook and somebody was selling like 16 of these things and all other stuff for really cheap. I was like, I bought that. I always forget about going to the Marketplace and looking for stuff like this. The displays. I want some of those displays like Barbie has. Janet needs to hook me up. I really like the one you have so you can hang the um, the brooch off of. Ooh, where's Rosemont, Illinois? I'm in Missouri. How far away is Rosemont, Illinois from me? What part of... Okay, where's Sandy at? A large flea market in Rosemont, Illinois, every Sunday. Ooh, okay. I'm in Missouri, Sandy. So where's Rosemont, Illinois? Because I have family members in Illinois. They're up around Peak and Peoria. Where's Rosemont at? And when I lived, when I lived with my ex, I lived right close to um, the Illinois border when I lived up there. So what part of Illinois is Rosemont in? I'm trying to get an idea how far it would be away from me. About two and a half hours east of Peoria. Oh, okay. They caught a ways for me. They used to have one up in Peavely, Missouri. And it was an outdoor market and part of it was inside, part of it was outside. But they shut that down quite a few years ago. Hi, Seven Bells. We're just chitter-chattering. Oh, it's right by Chicago Hair Airport. No, that's way too far away for me to go. But... They had like the... They're having, I know they're having a really long, I have to look it up so I don't forget. They're having a, I think it's a Route 66. Um, Cause you know, Route 66 runs through Missouri. I'm right by Route 66 guys. Um, uh, they're having like a really long mile and mile long yard. So I'll have to look it up. I think it's on Route 66. It might be on another highway around here, but it's close by. I have to look it up. I always wanted to go to the world's longest yard sale. Has anybody ever been to that? You know, where it starts over. Barbara, have you ever been to that? Don't it go through Tennessee? The world's longest yard sale? Because it starts over. It doesn't come over to Missouri. I think it starts in Kentucky. I might start in Iowa. You know, as long as I've lived right underneath Iowa, I've never. I live close to Iowa. I wasn't even there. But I, I, I can travel Route 66. I'm right close to it. Get your kicks on Route 66. Oh, you not been there? I love it. It's like 500 miles of yard sales. Like, yes. I would have to bring a, I would have to bring a, um, a U-Haul with me. But I'll look up. I need to, I just remember that. I need to write myself a note because I will not remember. Look up long yard sale in Missouri. You love Route 66? Yeah, we've got that. We're I'm right by. Yeah, I live by. Um, oh, on I-40. I live on uh, Route 66 is by our I-44. But like Route 66 anymore. I've always wanted to travel Route 66 from where it starts here and go toward California. But I don't think there's much left on it as far as attractions. I really don't. Um. Oh. Right now, long yard sale. I'll tell you guys if I find out about it in Missouri. It's close by. But um, we've got what's called the Devil's Backbone. And it's all Fruit 66. It's called the Devil's Backbone because it's like this. But um, yeah. I always wanted to do that when I was married, but my ex never wanted to do anything. Oh, yeah, the Cadillac Farm. That's in Arizona, isn't it? Is, is the Cadillac Farm in Arizona where all the cars are stuck in the ground? I know the place is like along where our Route 66 is. It hits Missouri because it goes down, you know, how the song says, then Joplin, Missouri. Um, there's not much on it. Boy, there's a real pretty sunset outside. It's a purple sky. Cadillac Farm's in Arizona, though, I think.
I think some of the attractions like are probably still there, but they're probably farther out west than where the Route 66 I live by is. Oh, it's on the way to Arizona? Okay. All right, well, I'll let you guys go. Barbie, we'll see you tomorrow night. I'll let you know what my computer is. It's an HP, I know that. I got Windows 8, not Windows 10. You were going to Flagstaff? I've been in, only what, I've only been in Arizona at the airport. I flew in and um, uh, flew right back out. We barely made our plane. Arizona Airport, I think I was in Phoenix. Or Tucson, I can't remember. Man, it was uh, it was huge. And it smelled musty. And I'm like, how can we be in the desert and it smell musty in here? It smelled like musty. But, oh, well. All right, guys. I'm going to let you go. I keep saying I'm going to let you go. Ken and Barbie needs to pack her stuff up so we can buy it all tomorrow. I need brooches, Barbie. Okay? I want brooches. My brooch box is looking pretty pathetic. I should try to take a spot. I will. I'll go out there and take one and post it on my Facebook, Edward. Because you'll see it. We're friends on Facebook. Oh, is that when your son was had his accident? I don't mess with ghosts and stuff. Uh -uh. I believe there's a real spirit world out there, and you do not mess with it. Bye, guys. Talk to you later. I'm going to go take a picture of the purple sky and post it on, on Facebook.